So explain how we should account, it's in the above two issues, but we've just got one issue here. So explain how we should account for this issue. So our year end is the 1st of September. At the start of the year, we had a property in our accounts at 3.5. And we sold it for five, therefore profit on sale, 1.5. All so far, so good. And it says part of the terms of the sale is that we will rent the property back for a period of five years. So the question is then, if we rent it back, so we've laid or uh, rent it back, the question is, is it a sale in substance? Remember, there's always substance over form. Okay, so let's see if we have really sold it then. We're going to rent it back at an annual rental of 400,000. Okay, at the end of this period, the property company will sell it uh, at its fair value, which is supposed to be 6.5 million, and will be given the opportunity to purchase it back at its fair value. So, everything here is at fair value. We can, or Laidlaw can, rent it at fair value and buy it back at fair value. But that's just like any normal thing. We can always buy a property, regardless of who we are, we can always buy it at fair value. So, uh, no effect on the substance then. So in fact, everything seems okay. So the treatment is correct. They have actually sold it in substance uh, for five million. Uh, we, and then we just put the rentals to the income statement as an operating lease as normal. Okay, there is nothing strange going on here that suggests we haven't really sold the property because everything's at fair value, everything is normal.